So, I've been asked this question dozens of times. What are my steps for finishing? How do I tape? How do, what, what's my procedure in taping? Uh, what do I tape first? You know, do I go through? I, I've seen a lot of videos on, on YouTube where they've got the walls all taped, topped, and skinned, and they don't even have the angles in. I don't, maybe it's getting crown molding, maybe that's why the angles aren't in yet or anything else, but none of the top angles are in on these videos, and they're putting a skin coat on the walls. I don't understand that, but, uh, but <clears throat> when I'm going to tape a job, again, I'm going to pre-fill it first. If you look at this job here, I, I showed you, matter of fact, I'll, I've got a video that I just did all, with my pre-filling, I'll attach it to this right now. And then I mix up my mud, I get everything ready for taping, I grab the bazooka, and I tape all of the butt joints. All of the joints that are crossing the seams, that are butting up to the seams. If there's a seam here, and there's a butt joint coming up here, and a butt joint coming down here, I tape all of the butt joints throughout the entire first floor. All of the butt joints get taped, wiped out. You know, they're, they're taped, taped and, and wiped out. Then I go through and I tape all of the seams. I usually try to put out one and a half to two bazooka loads and then I wipe those seams and then I put out another, if I'm taping by myself, again, another one and a half, two bazooka loads, and then I wipe out those seams. Um, but I, if I'm doing the ceilings though, I'll just do a couple of really long seams and then I'll wipe those because I don't want them to fall. Sometimes they fall. I use my long handle knife on the end of my glazing pole. And I can wipe 10 foot ceilings from the floor with this if it's on the flats. I've done it many times, 10 foot ceilings, I, can, I hold the bazooka just by the edge and I string the tape and then I come back and wipe it out. This one's leaking, it's got some water in it. But then I, I do all the flats. After I have, have all of the flats done, then I put in the angles. I just start taping all the angles. I put all the angles in, roll them and glaze them, wipe them out. So the whole job is taped. So those are my, my steps for taping. Pre-fill it butt joints, all the butt joints on the entire floor, all of the seams on the entire floor, not just room by room, all of the seams throughout the entire floor, then all of the angles on the entire floor. If it's a big floor, I will take, I'll probably put out, I put out two bazooka loads, I roll the glaze. I'll put out two more bazooka roll, uh, two more bazooka full, and then I will roll and glaze those. Then I will pick all of those corners and bottoms. Then I do the same thing, I two more, Roll and glaze, two more, roll and glaze, then pick all of those bottoms. On a big floor, it can take me a couple of buckets, two, three buckets of mud just to put the angles in because I don't get any mud back. Once I roll and glaze it, all of the mud is there in the angles. I don't get it back. Uh, and that's how I do it. So that's, that's my steps for taping only. Just have a good day. Hey, if you really like the videos, subscribe. And if you really, really like the videos, please just share them with somebody else. All right, you guys have a great day.